The time is now, says Prostate Cancer Canada, to push for new therapies to treat late-stage prostate cancer. It's an urgency shared by Stuart Campbell, who is living with an advanced form of the disease. My life changed uh, uh, eight years ago when I went into my uh, family doctor and was uh, diagnosed at that time with, uh, uh, with prostate cancer. Following that, I had CT scans and bone scans. And the whole result of that was uh, the opinion that I had advanced uh, prostate cancer. New drug therapies have helped Stuart stay active and alive for the past eight years. But although there have been great strides made in prostate cancer research, the disease still claims the lives of 4,000 Canadian men every year. I think the definition of advanced prostate cancer is changing, but principally it means a disease that has the potential to either alter your life meaningfully or threaten your life. And that is the emerging problem that we're all focusing on. This year in Canada, close to 24,000 new cases of prostate cancer will be diagnosed. Most times, the cancer is slow growing and responsive to treatment. But, says Dr. Logothetis, sadly, that's not always the case when the cancer metastasizes into the bones. This cancer is almost dependent on changes that happen in the bone that create a fertile environment for it to grow there. Once it's grown in bone, it acquires new traits of even spreading further. And that's why Prostate Cancer Canada is awarding one and a half million dollars in a Translation Acceleration Grant, or TAG, to promising research into advanced prostate cancer. We have um, literally dozens of applications that have come in from research teams across the country. We've put together an all-star peer review to take a look at those projects and determine which are the best of the best, which are the most promising, which are the closest to coming to fruition. The TAG award has been granted to Dr. Paul Rennie of the Vancouver Prostate Centre and the University of British Columbia. His team is developing new drugs that will bring new hope to men with advanced prostate cancer. They promise to be more effective and less toxic. And what's really exciting, human trials are set to begin within three years. Dr. Logothetis says researchers are very close to a possible cure. The question that we all ask is, when will you find a cure for the cancer? So the sense of urgency that we're all experiencing is based on the feasibility and the promise that we can change the course of the illness in patients who are alive today who will benefit from our therapy as opposed to the future. I hope that I'm around long enough to be able to take advantage. It's a hope. It's a hope that uh, something will come into the clinic early. Uh, I'm standing ready to enter any new research trial that uh, I think would uh, improve my particular circumstance. The TAG awards are just one way Prostate Cancer Canada develops and helps to fund innovative programs and research to help Canadian men. Join the conversation on prostate cancer. Find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. I'm Laura Di Battista for Prostate Cancer Canada.